After being open for four months, Gem City Market is now serving an area of Dayton that used to be considered a food desert. But now that they've settled into the community, shoppers and staff are reflecting on the progress of the store. People before, if they wanted healthy, nutritious food, they either had to go a long way out of the community or they had to go to kind of convenience type shops that either marked up the fresh foods or they weren't available. Jamie Ryan, member owner at the market, says the location is also giving Dayton residents more personal time since they don't have to travel outside the city for groceries. It's also helping foster positive interactions. Before, if they're all going different places, they're not going to see each other, but this is building community because you see your neighbor in the grocery store. Hey, how you doing? How's your aunt? How's your cousin? You know, so it's building community in other ways than just healthy food. But manager Leah Bayhan Harris says the market faces some challenges that larger stores don't. We have all kinds of back end expenses that we're solely responsible for at the small store. Bigger stores have, you know, crews off site that do a lot of the work for them. And we have the hands of people right here at the market that do all of the things from the marketing to making the signs to cleaning the bathrooms to taking out trash. And so we are a small community grocery store, so our costs are very intimate here. She says the store also employs a handful of full time workers who they commit to paying a fair wage. But even with those expenses, she says the store's prices are still competitive. And if there's something the store doesn't currently carry that you would like to see. Um, they're really, I think, starting to reach out to the members and the shoppers as to what they would like to see. So there's, there's a big push. I filled out at least two surveys of the products that I want to see, which is huge. To learn more about the store, click the links in the story below. Lauren Mixon, 2 News, working for you.